Hey everybody, it's Justin. Today I wanted to discuss this super awesome Salesforce uh, backup script that allows you to backup your Salesforce org. So that entails your Apex code, your Lightning components, all that good stuff. So, and it's you're able to do it very quickly and very easily. So what it is, is it's a wrapper script for the SFDX library, which allows us to download the code and related metadata from Salesforce and convert it into the SFDX project structure. So let's take a look inside the script. As you can see here, we have a check for if you have the SFDX um, command line installed. And then we prompt some pretty basic questions. And then we convert that, download the metadata and convert it into the desired format. So let's see this in action. I have this script downloaded. Uh, so if you want to go and do this yourself, what you'll need to do is you'll need to git clone this. So you have this script on your, on your machine. Once you do that, um, you're gonna go and um, just run the shell script. Uh, so it's going to ask a few questions. We're going to have a project directory, and this is an absolute directory. So uh, we're going to do temp slash uh, uh, trailhead in this case, as I'm just cloning a trailhead org. Um, we're going to just call this project test, and that's going to create the um, initial project structure. Once we do that, we need to go and log in to uh, Salesforce. I'm just going to call this uh, Salesforce test as the alias. Uh, that's going to prompt us inside of Salesforce to log in, like you, as you do, and uh, we will authenticate successfully. And what you'll see is that this was successful, and we have the metadata being downloaded now. So, what tracks this metadata being downloaded is the package.xml that I'll show. Uh, once this is all finished and uh, you can see and change to your desire as well as uh, you can see all the components that have been changed. So let's open this up in VS Code. Okay, so I have the project here open inside of VS Code. Uh, as you can see, we have the uh, SFDX project structure, and we have quite a bit of things that are copied. Uh, most relevant would be classes. Uh, so we have various trailhead classes that you can see here, as well as lightning components. So you can see all of, of, of this information, as well as objects, which are very fundamental to the SFDX project structure. So um, very easy and very simple way to get all this information. As I said, this is the package.xml that is used to get all this information. It's quite lengthy. The big thing that's removed here is documents as um, many production orgs that you will run this on will have um, an error from too much uh, data being used if you run this on a production org with the document type. So that's why that's uh, removed here. But Nevertheless, uh, very good stuff here. And if you wanted to run this as a Git repository, you just say git init, and you could go and add your remote. So git remote add origin and um, your URL here. And that would enable you to push all of this to some Git server so you could have it backed up and not uh, be solely reliant on the Salesforce cloud. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please leave a like, as well as if you have any feedback, put it down below. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching the video. Take care.